Was, even if you aren't a Duke or a UNC fan, you just you can't help but get caught up in the hype. So what was today like celebrating this great tradition? I mean, Chris, it's exactly what you would expect it to be. An amazing time for everyone involved. So go ahead and grab a seat. Have your favorite beverage of choice. And let's go ahead and hear from the people who are inside the Dean Smith Center. Leaky Black from Congress. I go to a lot of camera indoor stadium games, but coming here and beating North Carolina, it's nothing like it. Either they gonna win or we're gonna win. We, we brought our A game, we brought our brooms out to sweep them, and that's what we did. I really wish that the committee gives this team a hard look because I think that they are worth a shot in the tournament. And I know that the college basketball community as a whole is not going to be a fan hearing that, but the tournament would be better with UNC in it. It's a good beginning. Uh, Coach K. Era is done. We're moving on to Shire, and, and he's starting out great. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Looking forward to a, a lot of years to come with this rivalry. There were a lot of disappointed UNC fans outside the Dome, a lot of excited Duke fans. Let's do part three in the ACC tournament. Chris, who says no? <laughs> I'm not sure who would. All right, thanks, Lewis. Sky 5 was over both Chapel Hill and Durham after the game, and I want to look, you look at the screen here. On your left, you can see fans leaving the Dean Dome, and on your right is Duke University. Duke students didn't have, to, didn't have a burn permit, and there were no wild celebrations seen from the sky. WREL's Michael Grace joins us live now from the Duke Alumni Watch Party. So how are the Blue Devil fans feeling about the win, Michael? Yeah, Chris, you know what? There are a lot of smiles, but... Probably even more yelling. How are we feeling, Duke fans, for the, the last bunch that is, is left? You know, they say it was the alumni watch party. It sounded a lot more like the undergrad watch party with the energy they brought. But whether if you were from class of 2022 or 1992, a win in this rivalry feels a little something like this. So either team could have won, but of course I'm very happy that my team won. Sorry for the other guys. Go team! <laughs> now I've watched this rivalry my entire life. I think any sports fan does, and I think I was more entertained with the fans tonight. Absolutely great energy, and they love what Shire has done in his first year with this team. A lot of them believe they are going to be making some noise in the ACC tournament coming up. Clearly some trash talking there, as he said. Sorry for the other guys. <laughs> All right, thanks, Michael. All right, we're going to give you a live look now over Franklin Street. Uh, just a bit more of a somber scene in Chapel Hill. No celebrations going on there. This was an important one for the Tar Heels, but they did come up just short. WRL's Brittany's heard from fans tonight as their chances of making the NCAA tournament have all but faded. Well, Top of the Hill restaurant cleared out pretty quickly after the final buzzer. And here on Franklin Street, there was no rush after a win. Instead, with that loss, everybody's starting to make their way home. This is what it looks like shortly after the game win final. But I want you to take a look at this. The atmosphere throughout the game was electric. So many cheers as UNC made each basket. A few groans when Duke scored. In the end, the fans that showed up for the Tar Heels, they're walking away disappointed. But the silver lining, they got to spend some time with each other. That's never going to change. We'll come here for this game, and we'll travel, and we'll no be here. What. Yeah, it means a lot no matter what. Win or lose, like, we're here to support our team and our school, and, like, we love, we love the Tar Heels. We love the Tar Heels. They have the trucks and police ready to block off Franklin Street just in case because this game truly was a nail biter. Who knows if the two teams meet in the postseason, maybe some of these fans will get to continue that tradition. If not, there's always next year. From Chapel Hill, Brett Nice, WRL News. And folks, we do have more highlights and more coverage ahead, so don't go anywhere. Casey Hintz and Chris Lee will be back in just a few minutes ahead in WRL Sports.